The key scripture for today's message is 1 Samuel 16 verse 7. But the Lord said to Samuel, Don't judge by his appearance or height, for I have rejected him. The Lord doesn't see things the way you see them. People judge by outward appearance, but the Lord looks at the heart. God spoke these words to one of the greatest prophets in the Bible, Samuel. After Samuel had been directed by God to choose a replacement for the current King Saul. Saul had lost his way and God's favour through major character flaws that included disobedience, fear of man and egotism. Samuel had been directed by God to a farmer and sheep breeder called Jesse. Jesse had a number of sons who looked the part, so to speak, from a human standpoint, but after rejecting seven of Jesse's sons, the Lord directed Samuel to anoint David, the eighth son, as the future king over all Israel and Judah. This was despite him being the youngest of all Jesse's sons, a boy of 15 at the time, and the least physically impressive. God's rationale for choosing David over his more superficially impressive brothers is explained in Acts 13 verse 22. After removing Saul, he made David their king. God testified concerning him. I have found David, son of Jesse, a man after my own heart. He will do everything I want him to do. So God promises to look beyond the superficial and to focus on the character of a person. He blesses those who put him first and endeavour to be obedient to his direction. One of the most noted modern day examples of God's focus on the heart and not appearance is Nick Vujicic. Nick was born without arms and legs and it's reported that when his mother first saw her newborn son she was physically sick. However, his parents are strong Christians and came to believe that God had a plan for Nick's life. Nick himself, after going through a period of depression, saw this too and is now one of today's most influential Christian evangelists and motivational speakers, having travelled to 58 countries around the world speaking words of encouragement to world leaders, orphans and the disadvantaged. Now, not everyone is destined to be a King David or a Nick Vujicic. But for those who have a heart for God, he also has a future plan and that future will be a blessing. If you're not yet a Christian or feel you are not physically impressive enough to achieve much in life, consider giving your life to the Lord, knowing that he promises to look beyond physical appearance and focus on the heart. When your heart is for him, I can assure you that your life will be blessed and your future will take on new meaning.